Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center and this is what the data center usually looks like and for ages we have had this KVM uh, monitor keyboard video mouse that's probably what the KVM stands for but it's getting kind of old this is an IBM one and it's from 2003 and um, well I just got my hands on something a bit newer actually more or less 10 years newer so I thought that we should try and, um, and replace this today because well this is doing very very well it has been doing very very well for very very many years so but the screen is not too great I think this might be um, a very early LCD when flat screen monitors was very expensive back in 2003 they were expensive and this one is 15 inches and when I'm doing video with it the the number of colors that the monitor has isn't great the resolution is okay it fakes 1280 times 1024 okay ish but it does really become rather small on a 15 inch monitor so we have something else that we should uh, look at it's right down here so let's go down there it's also way cooler down here it's still an old unit this one oh i found the date um it's from 2013 so it is more or less 10 years newer than the one that i want to replace but all the cables are mounted so this is going to be a piece of cake and um, they are pretty long so um, that will help uh, I rem as I remember it the cables that I have on the uh, on the IBM one up there is not as long but I think it has the same plug like a tiny little one and the same connection so nothing has changed there I do use USB so I have a converter that converts that to USB I do have one problem with this KVM switch though um, it looks very very nice it's very cool I must admit uh, how do you open here yeah just pop it up it has a very big screen and it has a very awesome layout of the keyboard here but it's not a Danish keyboard so it's um, I think it's English it might be yeah it might be English keyboard it doesn't have the nipple in the middle here uh, it has a touchpad for mouse, um, nice buttons, and but other than that, it looks pretty sweet. It even has something for your hands, yeah. So, and of course, it slides in and out of the rack, and you pop the the top up, and it kind of looks very similar. You can see there is rack screws here. If we go up, there is rack screws here. The handle is a little bit different for the, from the IBM, but I think I can manage that. And as I very often use it as a table when I'm filming, it's a better table because the one I have now, the, the screen flips that way instead of that way. So I'll have this tabletop here instead, and that is better. So the manufacturer of this is uh, EMC, and it has been used for some storage unit management thing if you buy a storage solution that is expensive enough it comes with its own console for configurating and monitoring and stuff so that's it and it's old i think we're gonna go and um, and disconnect the old one and we could just have a little look at that oh here is the unit and you can kind of see the colors here uh, it's very difficult to see some of these are gray and that's a white one and there's a gray one and yeah it's the contrast and the color depth is not very great on this but it has been doing great uh, I also think this has been a really expensive unit when it was new back in the day I think it's ever so slightly too short to actually fit in my rack so I've done some weird stuff on the back of it that I'll have to and I can't really film back there uh, there is not a lot of room but uh, yeah I'll do some work and uh, I'll get back to you here
This is a little bit sad. This is one of the oldest remaining things in my rack, uh, together with some uh, IBM X 3650 model ones. These servers up here were some of the original servers that I uh, I started with. Well, I had some compact, and then I I got these. So here is the unit out. We have never had a look at that. Uh, not out. So you can kind of see it pops out like this and the screen pops down and then I, when I'm using it I pop it up and behind there there's just a metal thing and yeah let's go uh, let's go around and have a look. Here it is all the way from the back and to the front. I don't know if I could extend these rails or something to make it longer uh, but I had it zip tied on the back because uh, it wasn't long enough from here to there when I mounted it it looks like this was could be extendable but I never looked into that so yeah I better measure the new one and check if it's long enough um, so let's pop that oh we can see the back of it oh, lots of people has been asking through the years what this is so this is an IBM machine type model 9306-F32 uh, and the production year is right there September 2003 so I'm not lying when I say this is a bit old out of it we have this long lead and it leads all the way to this little plug which is kind of the same plug as the one on the new one which is right up there so uh, yeah that's gonna be pretty much the same thing I don't know why they have these small plugs but well it doesn't matter then it has PS2 connections here uh, good old PS2 and I have had those in a, in a converter to USB so I'm gonna do that again so let's um, let's see if we can pop this together a little bit there is a power supply as well uh, it's just hanging here so um, yeah that that has been mounted at some point with some adhesive and that has given up over the years what it looks like when it's uh, folded back inside the rack and we can see the power supply has been mounted here uh, on this arm with uh, some velcro but the adhesive on the velcro has given up and uh, let the power supply float funny enough this power it looks very much like it might be the same manufacturer because same kind of label here same plug so it, it might be the same company that has produced a new one as this older one so and as i have been very satisfied with this one except for the small things that i have uh, have mentioned like it has become ever so slightly outdated because of the screen resolution and let's just say the flat screen monitors has come a long way in a period of time distance if we can okay 74 centimeters let's see what we can do with that and this is only 61 centimeters I believe these two screws will uh, let us extend that quite a bit so, or oh, bolt uh, is that a bolt no it's not it's Yeah, yes. Let's see, maximum. What is maximum here? I hope it's not where we need to be. No, nope, it goes over 80. It's almost 82 centimeters. So we can go to 74 centimeters. Cool. And tighten that. Make sure it didn't move. Yeah, we got 74 and a bit. And we'll cheat and do the same thing on the other side. Maybe I don't have to fasten them as much. It just actually the, the, the bag of it just needs to uh, to grab something. It doesn't have to to do too much. 
they're not fastened too hard, I could slide them a little bit and that might be handy. So I think it's way over a year ago I was sent these uh, rack studs uh, which is a rack mounting system uh, for the square holes in the rack and these were sent to me by the inventor the dude that had invented these and was selling them so I'm sure he knew what he was doing but uh, yeah uh, I think they're gonna be perfect for this uh, I think the there is different there is two colors here uh, and the, the difference between them is the thickness of the metal of your rack I believe that these reddish ones are the right ones these pink ones they have wider here and I think they are meant if, if you have an aluminium rack I'm using them for this automatic automatic transfer switch here uh, yeah, which is not on at the moment but you kind of just pop them in oh there's not a lot of room here like that okay there was a trick to it I forgot that then you put on these yellow thingies that locks them in place so they can't come out and I run into trouble here I see that so that one is not gonna be able to go on there it's not gonna go anywhere I'm pretty sure but and that one can go on so that one is not gonna go anywhere and there is not a lot of space up here that screw is dealing too much space and it's to screw it in the back and so now we're just gonna pop these on and make sure that it's fastened on the front here I should have tested this before I started mounting it uh, I realize I hope that it's work otherwise it's gonna be a weird video but now I have this nice disc here desk disc desk place to show you stuff hmm, it looks much the same as the other one but it pops up and it pops up and there's a green LED and windows oh you didn't have a good angle of that but the screen is way bigger and I need to uh, get used to using the touchpad I should probably go down here and change the keyboard settings from Danish to English probably so the other one was 15 inches and this one is 17 inches the other one was about 38 centimeters and this one is like 44 43 43 centimeters press to get it in again mm -hmm. okay it's a little bit more discreet kind of oh how the hell did you get it out again okay it has a kind of a problem if I pull it in it locks in place then I have to use a screwdriver and ply this out and then it comes out again eh. that's not great how do I do that it's a smart security system but really yeah, I fixed it uh, I took a screwdriver and I, and I pushed on this while I was tightening these really tight on both sides so now it pops in and out without any issues this is ever so slightly more wobbly than the old one 
I'm copying TS over, I don't really want to disturb that. I'm trying to keep... <sighs> keep track of that, so let's see. Notepad, of course, uh, it already finding Notepad, it should be okay. It's still on Danny's keyboard. Okay, I need to figure that out. Hmm. Incredible. The other one was um, connected with zip ties, and that was more steady than, than that one. So <laughs> I hope it's gonna be okay. But if, but we did kind of upgrade the KVM uh, to be 10 years newer. If I'm not mistaken, you're gonna be seeing this in multiple videos in the future. So. If, Stay tuned to that and subscribe to see this again, whatever. But I would very much encourage you to check me out over on Patreon where I every week post a special video, a Sunday WhatsApp video and um, go around my house here, my playhouse and tell you what I've been up to during the weekend. Plus on Patreon you get access to my Discord so you can go hang out with me and there's a video chat and I'm usually in the video chat when I'm there. So. Uh, Thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day, bye bye.